The Postal Service says it won't defer the payroll tax of its employees. It's ignoring the executive order President Trump signed that won't let federal employees opt out of the deferrals. Acting Director of the Office of Personnel Management Michael Regas told you about that on the program this week. Randy Irwin's National President of the National Federation of Federal Employees. Randy, welcome. Thanks for coming on the program. What are your members, the people you represent, telling you that they're seeing in their paychecks and telling you that they're worried about, about the payroll tax deferral? Well, they're about to see it in their paychecks. It hasn't happened yet. Um, it's being implemented uh, you know, across the government for the pay period that we're in right now that ends on Saturday. So it'll it'll start appearing in their paychecks, you know, starting next week. Um, and, you know, we're hearing, we're hearing a lot of concerns. Um, there's a lot of confusion uh, and that's a sad thing. I mean, the, the way that it was rolled out very hastily, the way that there was very vague guidance put out uh, since news broke that they were gonna be doing this, uh, it has not, you know, answered all the questions uh, that federal employees have. Um, and then there, there's concerns about, you know, the truth is federal employees know that they're going to have to pay this back. We're educating them. That wasn't clear from the guidance, but now they're getting, they're starting to understand uh, this is not a, some some tax break that they're not going to have to pay back. They are going to have to pay this back next year in all likelihood. Uh, and so how is that going to happen? Um, you know, their 6.2% is going to come off their paychecks uh, for the latter part of this year, but then it's going to go up 12% in the next year. Uh, and that's that's a major concern. How are they going to pay that? How how is that going to be phased in? Uh, we don't have answers to any of these questions. And that's kind of where I wanted to go is what do we know for sure right now, Randy? I'll tell you this. We know for sure that the president does not have the authority to do what he says he wants to do. You know, he has insinuated uh, in a tweet that if, if uh, he's reelected, federal employees are not going to have to pay this back. Uh, he does not have the authority to do that. He needs Congress to act for a, a you know a change in tax law, which is what this amounts to, um, and so that's that's snake oil. It's it's not it is not going to happen. Federal employees are going to have to pay it back. Um, that much we know, unless there's an unprecedented act from Congress, which is very unlikely to happen. What do you want to see agencies do to help your members understand how this is going to affect them? What's lacking in the guidance that you've seen or what is inconsistent in the guidance that you've seen so far? It's been very inconsistent because OMB put out some very short, very vague guidance in September um, and basically said, hey, agencies, it's up to you. Do it, do it right now. Don't let allow there to be any exceptions, uh, but you handle the communication. So it's been... Uh, you know, ha very haphazard on the communication. And, you know, it's, it's, it, it, frankly, it's a little bit late for communication. I, I mean, they're doing this right now. You know, we would like to bargain over some of these things. Uh, we would like to, you know, get some of the critical answers that our members have answer, you know, answered. And, you know, it's, it's basically being, you know, shoved down their throats. Uh, it's unfortunate, but federal employees feel like they're being, uh, you know, uh, treated like guinea pigs here. Given that we are where we are, though, Randy, what needs to happen in the next two weeks, three weeks, whatever, when people start getting their checks? What are you doing to, to educate those folks, and what do you think the agency should be doing? I understand your point about what should have happened up until now. It didn't. So now what do we do? Yeah. Well, we would like to see clear guidance from the agencies to to tell federal employees that they're going to have to pay this money back and they should start setting aside any additional sums that are appearing on their paycheck it's it's just going to disappear next year so um you know set those asides because um you know and that, that hasn't been done yet the agencies have been you know they've been playing a game they want it to seem like this might be a permanent thing when it's not going to be so they're playing along with the white house on this uh but you know we'd like to see them put out some clear guidance but we don't have our hopes up. Uh, so, you know, so the agents, so the unions, you know, we're doing our part to educate our members. Um, but, but that's, you know, it's a difficult task when you don't have, uh, you know, the honest, uh, forthright cooperation from the agencies on this. What else can you do in the position that you're in right now, other than just educate your members as much as you possibly can? I don't really know what we can do. I mean, again, it, it, it's very late in the game. Uh, if we had, to, if this was rolled out properly, 
you know, we would have months and months to prepare and, and you know, to provide feedback and, and, and hopefully get some honest guidance from the agencies. But at, but at this late stage, you know, we just got to tell our members, hey, save your money. Do not get your hopes up. Uh, this is not likely to be permanent, and um, you're going to be having to pay this back ne next year. We'll, we'll we'll do our best to inform you as soon as you can. We have some idea that you know, hopefully it'll it might be phased in. You know, every pay period it'll be a 12% cut in pay uh, for the first four months. You know, we think that's probably the most likely scenario, but we don't really know that yet. And um, you know, there's there's really not much we can do at this at this stage. You know, we we pursued. We would like to have filed a lawsuit on this. Unfortunately, for the kind of thing that it is, uh, it was a difficult thing. To, to file a lawsuit and get an injunction and, and ultimately win a lawsuit on. Um, we, we saw it, you know, a legislative uh, fix. You know, we went to Congress and talked to our friends and say, hey, we got bipartisan letters saying, don't do this. This is a bad idea. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're, we're out of options. And so now we got to say, hey, folks, we're sorry they're doing this to you. But, uh, you know, save your money because it, it's not going to be permanent. Randy Irwin, thanks very much for joining me today. I appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for having me.